Hey, what's up, fellas? We're back out here at White Sands Proving Grounds. We're doing three tests simultaneously today. We are testing a spark plug ignition system that's working out phenomenal. We get internal combustion ignition every time now, and we can sustain it very easily. We're also testing out the vaporization coil again, and we are injecting liquid propane into that vaporization coil by inverting a propane bottle and just squirting the liquid propane out rather than the gas. That has allowed us to increase the power from 700,000 BTUs to about 886,600 BTUs. So let's take a real quick look at what we got here, guys. This is the burner. Now the spark plug probably would have did a little better place back here somewhere, but I was worried that it might not ignite the system as well if the air wasn't mixed good enough yet. I think we would have been fine. This is the vaporizer coil on the bottom. And that is detached from the burner because we don't want to rob heat from the burner. It's essential this thing stays as hot as possible. We just want some of that infrared heat to heat this coil up. Now the purpose of this vaporizer coil is to allow us to inject liquid propane from an inverted propane bottle. If you turn a propane bottle upside down, it will eject liquid propane rather than the gas. And okay guys, in the test the other day, we took two of these propane bottles, these very bottles, and connected them to a manifold with them in the upright position as you see here. The maximum gas that we were able to get out was on the order of 700,000 BTUs. <laughs> That power dropped off with time due to the bottles boiling off their pressure and temperature. They quickly froze up and the pressure dropped down to about 20 PSI from 120. So not an ideal situation, certainly not sustainable. So we had to try the tanks inverted. With just this one tank inverted, with it almost empty, we were able to get 880,600 BTUs out of the bottle. And we were able to sustain that for about four minutes and 40 seconds before the bottle drained. Might be a good idea to go ahead and paint this thing black, is what I'm thinking. Spray some black spray paint on it. That'll, uh, kind of help collect a little heat. But for the most part, can't really see down the barrel, but uh, that is what we have. This thing is burning 41 pounds of propane an hour. That's about $39 an hour to run this thing. The lifespan of this burner is about 800 hours and it would cost you about 31 grand to run that thing for 800 hours. So pretty high power. This is 259 kilowatts, okay? That's about 347 horsepower. 885,600 BTUs an hour is what this thing did in the test. And we were pretty much constrained by the blower at that point. So a uh, 20 pound propane bottle, like one of those right there is about 400,000 or 430,000 BTUs you can get out of that bottle. So we would only be able to run this for a half hour off of one of those little bottles. To supply the air, we're just using this leaf blower. Very convenient form of an air blower. If you ever find yourself needing a cheap air blower for a test or a machine or an experiment, I think this was like 40 bucks or something. And if the alternative is like $300. Yeah, though. That is uh, some proprietary stuff. But let's take a look at this spark plug we got here. I just wanted to show you guys that. This is a 17,000 volt transformer. It doesn't want to blow out. So without this spark plug, we are unable to get internal combustion without forcing the torch flame down inside of this thing. So this spark plug works phenomenal. I'm impressed with how 
instantly it fires up the internal combustion and keeps it going. We could probably keep this thing running continuously in case of a flame out scenario or something just for safety. Just a quick look at the setup. This bottle is about empty, so I don't know how much we're gonna get out of this, but we're gonna run it dry, try and calculate the energy consumption. We've All right, fellas, so initially when I fired up here, I had a little leak going, but I just wanted to show you how much gas I was using to attempt to light it with. It's a huge amount of gas. It's about the limit that you could get out of just one small propane bottle. And this thing is, uh, there's the leak right there. I don't know if you've seen that to the right. I had some liquid spraying out of the hose. Smelled like some mercaptan. So I went ahead and moved the camera because this thing's going to be burning almost all the fuel down inside the combustion chamber and it's going to be ejecting some huge amounts of super hot gas. People mentioned that I should move the vaporizer coil. The thing is, this thing's going inside a firebox, guys, so it's gonna get plenty hot right where it's at. We don't wanna burn it up with fire actually impinging on the tube. So I felt like that'd be a good spot for it. So one thing about this thing is that you have to ramp up the fuel and the air simultaneously at somewhat of a perfect mixture. And because the vaporization tube is not yet heated up during the ignition process, it's not exactly a delicate situation. You get all these fluctuations, kind of like you're boiling fuel inside the tube there. So until the system normalizes and gets red hot, it's kind of hard to get it to adjust real good. We're at about 600 watts, 6.2 amps, about 110 PSI. The valve's barely cracked on. And we're getting so much power out of this thing, we have reached the limit of the blower. That is our new limit right now, guys, is the blower. I tried to add more gas, but the blower couldn't handle it. So that's awesome. That's where we want to be. We're at about um, 347 horsepower. For contrast, the car sitting there in the driveway to the right, that's my car. It only has 330 horsepower. This is thermal horsepower, obviously, so not quite the same, but that's how much fuel we're actually burning. If you had an engine that could put out 347 horsepower, this is how much gas it would use. So the spark plug's in a very hot place. I wonder if we could move it just to the edge of that cold zone and still get it to ignite things as well as it is. We're still getting some very cold gas, but in last night's test, we were starting to melt that after about four minutes or so. So that's what I'm counting on this time. Unfortunately, the bottle is already drained on us though, and uh, we're about done. So this is how much gas we're running with it out of fuel. Yeah, we're out of gas. All right, guys, I apologize for this humming sound. I can't find what the problem is. I believe it's just a damaged microphone in the computer. I don't even have a microphone. So the rest of this footage is just the GoPro footage of the test in its entirety. So if you want to see how long it takes this thing to actually heat up, here it is. This is the footage. It's not too slow. One, it's inside the firebox that it's going in with five other of these burners. It's going to be a lot quicker, I can tell you that right now. We're going to have to, not going to have to worry about none of these frost issues or none of that. But basically the goal of tonight was to test the power output. And we determined that to be on the order of 885,000 BTUs. The blower is now the limiting factor in the power output of this device. A larger blower would enable us to run at even higher powers, if you can believe that. If we were to turn this blower off with it as it is right now, or turn it way down, we would get nine foot flames the size of this device's diameter. So an incredible amount of fuel is being burned in a very small area. Definitely an awesome burner. So. That's where I'm at right now in testing. I could definitely say the spark plug works phenomenal. I, I couldn't be happier with the spark plug performance. We get internal combustion so easy now. So I think starting a bunch of these up at once 
it's going to be so easy now with this spark plug setup. You just got to find out um, if one transformer can run six spark plugs. So that's going to be one of my next tests. But I'm pretty much done for tonight because I'm out of propane. Tomorrow we're going to do the same test again with two full bottles. I just had to do it tonight with what we had. I couldn't wait. I wanted to see what this thing could do. But I keep running out of propane before we really get there. I think we ran at full power for like a lousy two minutes. So this power output reading is insufficient. We cannot actually call it this 885,000 BTUs. It may be far more than that. 